In a game largely spoiled by the wind at Cuthbury today, Bridgewater Town took the points in a 2-1 win over Wimborne Town. Boss Alex Brown brought in Jakob Malara in place of Alan Walker-Harris in goal and introduced Darren Curtis at left back. Paul Roast and Ross Lloyd in the centre of the back line. Up front, he retained Dominic Allen and played Lee Chuddy up alongside him in a 4-4-2 formation. Wimborne won the toss and chose to play with the wind in the first half. And all the action, understandably, was down in the Bridgewater end. But it took until 27 minutes for Wimborne to get on the score sheet. A neat turn by Lee Chuddy was followed by a trip and the referee pointed to the spot. Chuddy, did, Chuddy himself dispatched the kick to make it 1-0. And despite some close, close encounters at the, bridge, at the Bridgewater goal, that's how it, ended, that's how it stayed till half-time. It was always going to be difficult for Wimborne in the second half, and so it proved. Top scorer, top scorer Chris Young, Bridgewater's captain, equalised with a header just after the hour. And things got worse for Wimborne when skipper Paul Roast was dismissed with a straight red by the, goal, by the referee, who obviously thought he had deliberately elbowed his Bridgewater opponent. If so, that would be the first time Paul Roast had committed a, a, a foul like that in almost 400 games for Wimborne Town. After that, Alex Brown introduced Sam Lockyer, who moved to left back with Darren Curtis moving into the middle, and withdrew Kev James and uh, Lee Chuddy. Gareth Barnes coming on in place of Chuddy. But things got worse for Wimborne when uh, Andy Gurney scored the second goal for Bridgewater after uh, a free kick was given on the edge of the area and he, he headed the cross home. Wimborne tried hard in the second half and Lee Chuddy had a lovely lob which landed on top of the crossbar and James Stokoe had a chance to, to, to equalise when he, when he was, in fact when it was 1-1 he had a chance when he was right through on the goalkeeper but the keeper saved bravely at his feet. Overall, as I say, the wind spoilt this game but in the end it was Bridgewater who took more advantage of it and they go home with the points.